In the past two weeks, two of League of Legends greats announced that they'll be hanging up their keyboards and retiring from competitive play. Today, we take a look back at the careers of Reginald and Chouster. It's hard to talk about competitive League of Legends without mentioning either Chouster or Reginald. The two have been around since the beta. They have set multiple records, won numerous tournaments, and are widely considered as two of the most successful and influential players to have graced the game. Chouster is best known for his two back-to-back -back wins in WCG, first in 2010 and then again in 2011. The second of which he got by teaming up with Reginald. Reginald first entered the scene as an entertaining streamer and then went on to join Team Solo Mid, perhaps the most successful League of Legends team of North America. After fielding some lackluster early results, Reginald announced that the five members of the squad would be stepping up their training regimen by moving into a gaming house together. This was the first such facility in North America for League of Legends. The move paid off and TSM went on to win their next tournament at MLG Providence 2011 and then another four tournaments in 2012. Not to be outdone by the training regimen of TSM, Chouster and his team, CLG, moved to Korea to train in what is considered the most competitive gaming region in the world. They competed in Champion Spring and Champion Summer, but both times wound up losing early to the eventual winners of both events. When the North American League of Legends Championship Series kicked off in 2013, the two teams were considered the two powerhouses of the continent and their matches were legendary. However, at the end of the season, only TSM would end up qualifying for Worlds. While they failed to make it out of group stages, Reginald can claim that he is one of only four players to have competed in every single World Championship. Chouster can lay stake to being the only pro to have played every role in a professional setting. While it is unclear how much the two have earned from their time in League of Legends, between endorsements, salaries, streaming, and sponsorships, it is widely speculated that their yearly compensation packages were in the six-figure range. With such an impressive list of achievements, it's no mystery how they earned it. They leave the scene stronger than when they entered it and will no doubt continue to contribute from behind the scene. Sad to see them go.